Dream big and work for it, no matter whether you want to be an astronaut or like a professional athlete, you have to dream big. And, and then if you work for it, then it's going to be possible. Paloma Serrano, I'm a project manager at Alter Technology, a company of the Toothnut Group. The coolest thing about my job is to feel part of, of the different space missions that we participate in um, because we're providing the basic building blocks, uh, the electronic components for these missions to, to happen. And, and then whenever you see like a rocket launch uh, of, of a mission or of an instrument where, where we have participated in other technology, um, it, it makes it worth it. it. It pays off. Your effort is paying off completely. The limitations of being a project manager um, are that you have to, to deal with very high peaks of stress uh, and sometimes that can be overwhelming, but, but you have to work with very tight deadlines and sometimes there's unexpected um, delays happening and you have to look for the best solution, the easy, not the easiest, but the fastest one, or to, to have like several factors considering at the same time making quick decisions and this pressure can be overwhelming. In Alter Technology, as part of the Tubnar Group, we do the procurement, the engineering and the testing of electric com electrical components, uh, which are the very basic building blocks for um, space programs and space missions. And uh, we certified that these components, these electrical components, have the quality, the space quality, to go onto these missions. Me as a project manager, what I what I do um, on a daily basis is a very dynamic work, but my main task, it is uh, meeting deadlines. On a weekly basis, for example, we get uh, working orders, purchase orders from our customers. Our customers are, in my case, mostly European space agencies, the European Space Agency as well, and also uh, private companies that, um, that are in the, within the space uh, business and space industry. And what we do is processing them then we have to do a very exhaustive follow-up of the manufacturers that they deliver to us these um, electrical components on time. And we also have to make sure that all the testing happens uh, within the agreed time so that we deliver to our customer, to the corresponding space agencies, these components um, for like to not delay the, the whole space program because these Every space program is a very complex um, b business and, and, they, and there's like very specific timelines that everyone, there has to be a perfect coordination almost to be able to fulfill them. And our task is also dealing, troubleshooting these delays and, and be able to set up meetings, teleconferences, conference calls um, and so on to find the best solutions to have the minimum impact on the agenda of the overall mission. So in the morning we have a, um, like a team meeting to decide on, on to plan the day and see the, the tasks that, that we each have. Then um, we maybe have to make a couple of phone calls also in the morning uh, with our customers to, to make sure everything goes correctly, to see if they have any 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 requests or perhaps there's a new purchase orders that, that we get. And then in the afternoon, we have again um, conference calls with, with our customers on the other side of the Atlantic because of the time difference, they can't take place in the morning. And we also yeah, uh, perform a, an intensive follow-up and check out the schedule that everything is going according to plan in the delivery at the right time of the components to our customers. So I come from Madrid in Spain and, and I grew up uh, in Madrid. And afterwards um, I started, I started my, my majors in biochemistry 
in the Autonomous University of Madrid and I finished it in, in, the, in Lund University in Sweden. So I was always interested in, in, in space, in, in space exploration, in space science uh, research, um, human space flight. There were like these traineeships at the European Space Agency and, and I thought, I'm going to apply, let's give it a go, let's see. I was selected in the end and I had, um, after Sweden, I went to the Netherlands for a two-year traineeship at the European Space Agency at ESA ESTEC. It was a great experience. So after that, and because I was always very curious um, about research and, and, you know, like life beyond the Earth, life outside the Earth, the possibility of, of it, I was even more interested in <laughs> pursuing a career in space research and went on to do a PhD in the University of, of Potsdam in Germany. And after my PhD, I decided um, that maybe I would like to stay within the field of space, but not so much in research. This is what I'm most proud of, um, and it was a very difficult decision, but I decided to transition into industry. So as a researcher, um, into a project manager. As a project manager at Alder Technology, it is very useful to have an engineering background, although it's not necessary. It is very important to have certain skills, soft skills in this case, uh, which are the logistic skills. You have to be uh, very good at time management um, and you have to be very good at, at controlling how to, how to do the management of, of the whole project and dealing with um, timeframes. And then you also need very good communication skills um, in different ways. You need communication skills like to talk to your team, and to coordinate things internally, and you also need communication skills to talk to the customers and to be able to deliver news.